everyone welcome to another video in this video i will tell you a full project in canvas apps here you can see uh, this is the project about online examination so you can choose the exam and you see the timer is running at the right top corner and every time you load the page the first question is pulling from the uh, dataverse and you can select multiple choice here in the check boxes right and you can click on next so that the next question will pick up from the dataverse table record and also the images can be included as a rich text box or uh, type and uh, and once you choose and you can click on next uh, question so the questions are dynamically set in the uh, app and it is pulling from the dataverse and the timer is running and once the uh, questions are completed it will submit all the questions and it will get you the answer and the result at last right so it looks like very simple but it may be you know it may be a complex when you, whenever you not design properly so let's start so first you have to design a data first table first i have designed a eqb e question bank where i have uh, i have created uh, multiple custom columns to store the actual question and the options and the correct flag the uh, you know option flags to store which um, option is correct and which option is wrong and uh, the exam id lookup which will look up with another entity uh, called as exam where i keep different types of exams like physics chemistry whatever you can take whether it is it or dot uh, net uh, c sharp whatever you can take you can take in the exam and um, we'll have a uh, explanation also field which will explain the answer uh, for a specific question like that i have taken an exam uh, table in the exam table we have uh, the column called as name of the exam and duration of the uh, exam in milliseconds right so if i'll sort it by custom columns you will see there are uh, name is there which will store the name of the exam and the um, duration in milliseconds will store the duration of the exam in milliseconds then we have exam attempts if the different types of candidates or users are uh, attending the uh, exam then how to store the uh, history of the candidate uh, how much he scored and all that so this table will store um, all the attempts that the uh, candidate has been uh, done for this exam so here i am uh, capturing the exam id and the question id with the correct answer and the selected answer uh, so that it can be used for calculating what is the total uh, mark has been secured or to total percentage of the mark secured right so this is the dataverse table also i have created form for all the tables and you can create the form and add the columns also i have created a model driven app uh, for administrator which will uh, create uh, which will input the questions for specific exam now let me show you that model driven app in this model driven app the admin will uh, enter the questions using this question bank first he will create exam records so i have already created two exams one is chemistry paper one and physics paper one in the physics paper one you will see the total duration in milliseconds is uh, six lakhs so it is total time is 60 minutes so i have kept in milliseconds so that uh, we can use in the timer control and then the questions uh, the admin can enter questions related to exam you see you have to give a question id which can be unique you can take as uh, auto number also and here the exam and the question question options and whether the question options are right or wrong using true false drop down right and uh, below i have done an explanation if you want to put an explanation you can put so i have three uh, questions entered for physics now if you run it you see the three questions that are pulling from the database uh, the data first database and you can submit and it will validate the result right now this is the data first and the model driven app for uh, uh, administrator if you if admin will add another question also he can create new question and add a question id choose the exam and define the question of the uh, define the question title and the options let's say as a sample options so the first option is true seven close now if you go to the so i have added so i admin added another uh, question here in this exam so if the candidate will start again it will load the four 
uh, questions now you see this question is now coming now so the, this is dynamically pulling from data first right so uh, it depends on the administrator that how many questions he want to set for this specific exam and it will load all the questions here okay now this is a complete project we have three screens we have two three uh, tables data first tables one admin model driven app to entry questions another is canvas app in the canvas app we have three screens or four screens the first is home screen where i have uh, defined some instructions and in the uh, first screen there is a drop down these are all the static text and there is a drop down this drop down is connected to the exam table uh, to display the name of the exam so if you have added multiple exams it will display in the drop down and when someone select the drop down value and click on the start it will check something if the exam has at least one question then it will uh, start the exam otherwise it will go to another place right so question uh, chemistry has no question that's why it will navigate to the uh, under construction page but if as physics has many questions it will navigate to the exam page and here on the visible property of this uh, uh, exam page we are uh, uh, doing the a collection and we are uh, assigning the collection variable right what is the total number of uh, uh, questions and uh, what should be the so i am using collection to keep all the uh, selected answers so that i can submit for validation now here index is used to load uh, which record you want to load in the gallery this is a gallery control we have taken and if, so the although i have four uh, questions the gallery will load only one uh, one question at a time by using index variable i have taken an index variable uh, on the visible index is zero and uh, sorry on the visible index is one so that it will load the first uh, question and then on check of the checkbox uh, we are assigning the uh, we are updating the collection variable with the question id and the selected uh, value of the checkbox and the timer has uh, some method okay this is the duration assigned uh, to the timer because the duration should be dynamically as per the exam selected right so it is connected to that uh, dynamically to the duration in uh, milliseconds of the exam and uh, the next is so this is the main uh, screen where everything happens dynamically the gallery is loaded dynamically uh, one at a time and the previous button is used to uh, decrement the index variable so that it will load the previous question and uh, whenever the last question is reached the uh, next button uh, title changed to submit right so so many power effects is used this is called as less code and uh, if you know power effects then you can easily create this app and if you have any question on this app let me know i have the code and i can share right so uh, thank you for watching this video so try to because it is not easy it will take at least three to four hours to manage everything and to de define this also in this last page with the result page we are uh, calculating the total uh, mark how many total questions and uh, what is the total uh, mark achieved right so this is dynamically showing and the percentage is, is also calculated as per the correct answer uh, given and uh, if it is more than 70 it is fail uh, less than 70 it is fail otherwise it will pass so this is a typical online exam using canvas app dynamic so thank you for watching.